This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by lynda.com, the unparalleled online video training library. For a free 10-day unlimited trial, visit lynda.com slash macvoices. And by Smile, the makers of PDF Pen, PDF Pen Pro, PDF Pen for iPad and iPhone, PDF Pen Scan Plus for iPad and iPhone, Text Expander, Text Expander Touch, and Disc Label. Find out more about all their great products at smilesoftware.com. Welcome back to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Mac community. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, we haven't talked to Dave Basuto from Iographer since NAB back in April. And a number of things have happened. He's got a new Kickstarter program going. Uh, he's got a lot of exciting news. Seems about right to, to check in as we head into the holidays, because if you are into home movie making, then I think he might have a product for you. Dave, it's great to see you. Great to see you, Chuck, as always. Thanks for having me on the show. It's, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. And, and I don't even know where to start, um, because there's so many great things happening with, with you and with Iographer. Um, but I think maybe let's start, so we don't forget it, let's start with the new Kickstarter campaign, why it's a Kickstarter, and what it's for this time. So uh, as I was not busy enough, uh, I was outside tooling around with my son, and we were we were playing with the GoPro, and we had it on the on the uh, uh, on our our what do you call it uh, our flying thing? I can't think right now. Drone, <laughs> drone. Thank drone, you. Yes. See, yeah, my mind's trash. So we're on our drone playing around, and I'm like, and I took it out, and I was starting to get the footage, and I'm like, God, this thing is so small, and it just any little tiny move messes it up, and I can't see what's going on. It has this little LCD, and I'm old and blind, and so I'm like, I got to find a way that we can do something better. So I started, went in the garage, started tooling around with stuff and, uh, and just came up with this crazy design and uh, kind of gave it to my designer and said, can you make this way better than it is now? And so a couple of weeks later, he came back with a design and we made a 3D print once again. Uh, thank God for 3D printers. And I had this cool little rig in my hand that I was able to hold really nicely with some big uh, handles. Once again, I could put stuff across the top, and what I really wanted across the top was a nice, big HD monitor. So now I could have my GoPro or other action camera and start to see what I was filming, and I could really, you know, it was like a steady cam, and it was beautiful. Then I said, let's throw on a nice microphone, get some audio, because we can get into the GoPro now with some nice audio. Oh my God, I got this little 4K camera, and I'm like, I can make some great product now. So... I started tooling around and, and showed it. It was around the NAB time, and, and we took us the sample uh, we had there to the NAB, and yourself and other people saw it, and, and the reaction was astounding to me. I was kind of, you know, humbled, <laughs> and uh, and so we said, let's just do this. So we we've been planning it for a while, and uh, and we actually started the whole mold process and everything, and then we thought, you know, let's things aren't crazy enough. Let's let's do the Kickstarter to get the awareness out there. Um, and, and it's just, I saw from the last time I did the Kickstarter that it just really promotes you to like a, a household name in a way people will really, people search that site every day looking for new goodies. And so, and myself included. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, we put it up there and, and we just were like 20, 24 days, I think left to go and, and we're almost funded already. So it's pretty exciting. And, and just to show everybody, this is what I'm talking about. So you can put uh, the Agrifer Go on your on any standard tripod, and then you can add your monitor, your action camera sits nice inside there, and add your microphone and everything. And now you can go and film around with it. And it actually works pretty well, uh, in my opinion. It's going to work even better with our Iographer line because uh, a couple of companies are coming out with these attachments that you can attach to your GoPro to have that send a signal back. To your um, to your iPad or other device uh, as a camera angle. So now if I can do a multi-camera shoot, I can have this. One of, maybe I've got two iPads and two GoPros, right? Now I can have those out there, and and it all works together in harmony. So pretty fun stuff, and and just we're just so humbled with the uh, with the people that are just you know are backing it and, and writing about it and talking about it. So 
it, it's one of those ideas that seems so simple. <laughs> Once I, I mean, again, yes. <laughs> but, but, but nobody's done it. You know, I've, I've tried rigging up things with cages and, you know, with different pieces uh, from the photography shops. And I just, the, the unit I had that I was shooting with NA, at NAB, you know, was sort of home mm -hmm. constructed and, and it worked just fine. But it, mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 a little finicky in, in places, and you got to know how it was put together, and then you got to tear it down and put it back together the next day. Exactly. And so with this, I mean, I'm I just I can't wait to get my hands on it because I think it's going to take the GoPro to a whole new level of usability for the people that are not into action sports. And that's that was the big key for us. Um, uh, we have a lot of people asking, "Hey, this is great for to take it out surfing and underwater." Well, it wasn't really made for that. It was made. There's a lot of things that do that. Put it on your bicycle and your motorcycle and to get all this crazy footage. This is a filmmaking tool now. The GoPro can go make you know, a mobile journalism once again or, or documentaries or films or whatever you want to do because you have the opportunity now to actually put on a wireless microphone or whatever you want to do. And then you've got this great monitor that you can see what you're filming. You know, um, and I always thought the GoPro had great quality uh, uh, footage. But the beauty is that uh, I really wanted to kind of dummy proof this, so we, we made it for a bunch of other cameras as well. It fits in the, uh, uh, funny, at, at, at NAB, um, trying to remember, uh, 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 GeekBeat guys were telling me, you have to put make it so that the Canon Vixia Mini fits in there as well. And I'm like, I've never heard of this camera before. <laughs> and so I went and bought one, and I could see the usage of it. It's got a nice little monitor built in. It's compact. It shoots beautiful video. And so we made it big enough to fit uh, the Canon Vixia Mini, the GoPro, um, the brand new Blackmagic Design Micro Cinema Camera. So if you want to go even further and really get some, you know, micro uh, two thirds uh, lenses and all that stuff. Uh, and then it also fits the Sony Action Cam, which shoots in 4K as well. So big, you know, these people all have these cameras. Now let's show them how you can make movies with them, you know, not just go out and shoot. Hey, we we're surfing today and it was great. You know, let's make a documentary about the surfing thing or whatever. So that, that's, that was kind of what I had intended. Well, and, and when you showed it there, of course, you had it on a little mini tripod, but you can put mm -hmm. it on a full-size tripod. Uh, you know, you've, you've got the handles on the side so that you got the, the panning that can, can be a lot smoother than you can really accomplish with the GoPro. Because with GoPro, the, the best I've ever found is trying to stick it on like a, a, a mini one of the real, little gorilla pods and use right. that as a handle and that's that's definitely better but yeah. you know that that two-handed grip and being able to pan nice and smoothly that's that's and, just and seeing what you're shooting because i mean every little tiny movement with the gopro is like Whoa. <laughs> you know it's huge so that yeah. was a big thing that i wanted to, to kind of accomplish and i feel really happy about it so yeah and I should point out too that uh, the the rig that I was using, I had used just the GoPro LCD back as my mm -hmm. monitor um, on a on a separate mount, so that it, and I I liked it so that I could face me as, yeah. and doing as a one right. as a one man band. It was perfect because then I can get an idea of how I'm framed in the shot. Absolutely, and, and just, I, I honestly didn't even think about that. So now you got to go there. You can mount on your wireless microphone or or your handheld or whatever. And then turn the monitor around, and I can see what I'm shooting now. Brilliant, Chuck. Yeah. See, I did learn something from you today. I didn't think about that. Well, I, I've learned one or two things from you along the way too. Oh, well, so I, I think we're kind of even in that regard. Okay. So, what what will the price be when this comes out, and what kind of time frame are we talking about? Obviously, you're you're in the Kickstarter phase, but so we're looking. Uh, we want it. My my top goal is to deliver this in under the Christmas tree. So um, we're we're looking at early December to get this out to people. Um, it's, it's interesting. It's not really the manufacturing of all this. It's the packaging, the, the packaging design, getting all that stuff lined up. And it just takes weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, but this thing, uh, the way we're progressing now, I really feel comfortable about hitting that, that target for the holidays. Um, it's, uh, we're working now with trying to get it up on, on bestbuy.com. So they'll have it available so you can go order it and pick it up in stores. Um, of course it'll be on our website. And of course the Kickstarter people will be the first to get it. So, um, that's exciting. Um, we're playing around right now at the $69 price point, which we think is affordable. Um, it comes with the, the rig itself and also uh, the camera mount. So inside this area here where the GoPro fits, uh, we're going we're gonna to include this camera mount so that you can – because this is a shoe right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's just a shoe. So it's pretty uh, customizable. So this will come out, and you can unscrew the top right here, and then it's got a regular uh, quarter 20 there for other cameras. Um, so that's going to be included as well out the, out the box. And then 
if we can afford, uh, if, if we can get the cable deal that we're working on, I'm going to include some audio cables and stuff. So you just plug in and go. I want it to be as easy as possible for people. You're going to hate me for this question. Please. Is it, is, does it, is it going to come in colors? Cause you know that that's, <laughs> you know, people are going to ask, I want the black, but you, you know, people are going to ask. Well, we'll see what the demand is. I mean, the, the beauty of it is it's not as complicated as the iographers where we have the metal ring for the lenses and all that stuff. Um, it's just got a bunch of screws. So, uh, it, you know, maybe we'll make one color just to have, you know, get some people because the GoPro community likes that kind of stuff. I do know that. Um, so this is an easier rig to make colors. Let's put it that way. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how successful we are out the gate, which we think we're going to do really well. And then if the demand's there, what, what color did you want? Oh, I want black. There's no okay. question. But <laughs> but I also know that I just saved us both a whole lot of emails because that's going to come. You yeah. Just you can hear it. <laughs> if, if people can email uh, Dave at iographer dot com and just say I want this color, and if we get enough of those, then we'll we'll talk about it. <laughs> Today's edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by lynda.com, the unparalleled online training library. Get a free, full 10-day trial at lynda.com slash macvoices. In case you hadn't noticed, there's a lot going on in the Apple tech world right now. Apple has updated the Mac OS to El Capitan, iOS 9 is gaining more adoption each day and has lots of interesting new features, including some specifically designed for the iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus. And let's not forget about Apple Watch, which extends Apple Tech into the wearables space. There's a lot to keep up with, and there is, as you might expect, lots more coming. That's one reason you should look to lynda.com as an excellent source of training on all of these changes. With lynda.com, you can get an introduction to Mac OS X El Capitan's new features to get you up to speed quickly, or watch Mac OS X El Capitan Essential Training to go a bit more in-depth with the new OS. For your iPhone and iPad, there's lynda.com's iOS 9 Essential Training to make sure that you're taking full advantage of all that the new mobile OS has to offer, whether you're running it on the latest iPhone or iPad or on a legacy device. If you've just invested in an Apple Watch, then you're going to want to watch both up and running with Apple Watch as well as Apple Watch OS 2 new features so that you know all about the latest additions to your device. That's what's available now as I record this, and the odds are that there will be more titles in very short order. How do I know that? Because lynda.com adds new courses every week. They are approaching 4,000 titles and might be there by the time you hear this. But lynda.com doesn't just focus on Apple tech. In fact, they don't just focus on tech. lynda.com is a great place to get training on business, education, video production, and more. With lynda.com, one subscription gets you access to the entire library. So you might start with the OS 9 course, but veer off into accounting. Or watch an Apple Watch video, then decide you want to know more about leadership. No limits, no restrictions, no silos, just an amazing library of knowledge and information that is yours for the watching. You're going to get excited about what you can learn, what you will want to learn with lynda.com. To get started and find out just how much fun learning can be, Sign up for a free 10-day trial at lynda.com slash macvoices that gives you access to all of the courses I mentioned, plus a whole lot more. Watch as many as you want during your trial, then sign up and keep going. Whether it's for business or personal development, lynda.com is a resource you can't ignore. Again, lynda.com slash macvoices gets you a full free 10-day trial. Do it now and be learning in just a couple minutes. That's lynda.com slash macvoices for access to their unparalleled training library. Thanks to lynda.com for supporting Mac Voices. Yours, yours is a pretty interesting story. The first time you were here, you were just doing the, the Kickstarter for the first iographer. And since then, everything blew up. Your life has changed. I know we've talked about it a little on the show, but mm -hmm. catch us up on, on maybe the last six or eight months. Because again, you've, mm. you've gone through ma major changes once again. Midlife crisis, uh, what else? Well, not that. But. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's see. Last time we talked, I was still teaching high school. Uh, actually, no, we saw each other in, uh, in in AB, so I don't know if I talked about leaving high school already. But um, So, I was teaching until December of last year, and uh, then uh, Best Buy basically said, hey, you want to make this a run of this, you need to do this 100%. 
And so I, I gave my notice and, and stopped teaching. And since January, I've been uh, the CEO of biographer and just working on that 200%. Um, and then, uh, you know, we, it's just been cranking out ever since. We've, we've got now about, uh, we're in 1,000 Best Buys. Um, I think I told you before the show started, I just got back from, uh, oops, sorry, my little light's falling down because I don't have a tripod. I'll leave it alone. I uh, just got back uh, uh, from Minnesota, and we did. Uh, I was meeting with with Target, and so Target wants to bring us in next year in May, um, and they've got eighteen hundred stores, so that's uh, really exciting. And then uh, we're working with uh, with Apple to get into their system in twenty two countries. Um, that's a little bit of a of a of a feat itself because. Uh, we just spent all this money making this really cool packaging for Best Buy, and, and Target actually loves the packaging too, so that's exciting. But Apple says we want everything in white because <laughs> the whole store is white. Now. <laughs> so we're kind of going back to the drawing board and, and having to redesign all that. So every day it's a learning experience for me right here, you know, just dealing with the, the business aspect of it all. But the beauty is I love it. It's, I'm just so passionate about it. I, I just started doing a weekly show. I, don't, I missed my first one yesterday because I was traveling. Uh, but I do a meerkat show now. And I mean, I mean, imagine, Chuck, now that you know, you're old enough to know that, I mean, my God, we can go live to the world on our phones uh, or iPads anywhere in the world. And, and now with meerkat, which is the, I, the meerkat and Periscope, and I prefer meerkat right now because I can schedule my events. Um, but Meerkat's got the new cameo feature. So now, uh, I'm talking to you or, or I'm doing a, a show and Chuck Joyner has a question. I'll say, let's, let me bring Chuck on the show. I press the button, invite you into my show. That's live. You come on the screen say, Hey, it's today, blah, 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 blah. And then I answer your question, but the interaction of it all. And that's one of the things that the Miami dolphins are using it for during training camp. Um, we gave a lot of product to them. So they're doing, uh, uh kind of Meerkat type stuff. So, uh, it's just, Amazing. I love it. I love that what we're doing. So I get up in the morning very happy and I pass out every night exhausted. So <laughs> you really were at kind of the right place at the right time. Uh, as, as the mobile video started to come on, as our camera phones got better, as of course the GoPros got better, and now that you're covering that. Um, it, it's just, it, it all just came together. And, and you, the, the fact that you add so much usefulness to my, my eye devices or soon my GoPro is is just perfect and it's not a really crazy price point either I, I want the biggest thing I think we talked about before is it had to be affordable um, you know spend the money on the microphones or the on the monitor or whatever and get the professional level things that you want uh, but my rig is going to be cheap so that you can you know you, you, schools can afford I mean we're we're in school we just got a huge order from the University of Missouri from their uh, communications department um, we're in Harvard we're in USC we're in Emerson I mean the University of Texas all the big uh, communication schools they see the power of mobile journalism and mobile filmmaking um, and it's just everyone has I mean I don't know if you've gotten the success plus or success yet but you got it right there okay the plus okay so, um, so, uh, that, so let me just show you this little toy that's going to be on our website pretty soon. Uh Oh, you're going to love this. It's going to cost me money folks is what's going to happen right here. So this is the new, uh, Moondog labs anamorphic lens. So it's gorgeous. Uh, and if you saw the movie, uh, tangerine or, or, you know, be, okay. Uh, Quentin Tarantino's new movie that's coming out was all shot anamorphically. So that big widescreen. So now this combined with your iPhone 6S uh, or 6S Plus uh, and then put that into Filmic Pro as your app to shoot with, um, you're going to go shoot these 4K anamorphic videos on your iOS device. <laughs> um, and it's going to be amazing. So we're super excited to be working with, uh, with the Moondog Labs on that. Wow. Right? I mean, wow. I, I, went, I, was, I was mesmerized myself. I just got the phone this weekend. Of course, I was stressed out because uh, Apple always does something funky and, and doesn't fit in our device. We have to have a whole new mold, which is a big challenge for us. Uh, but the, both the iPhones fit perfectly. That, you know, they're, I, was, I was so thankful. The new iPad Mini 4, on the other hand, was a quarter inch too long, and they moved the lens in another direction. So now we're in the midst of upgrading a new uh, a new case for that, like like generation two of the iographer. So that'll be after the holidays or something. Actually, you just started down the path. I was going to ask you to go uh, to to run down the iographer line and talk about just which ones, uh, which devices 
which eye devices iographers are available for because you're right i know that you know apple changes those things and it sometimes it's just enough so you've you've said that the 6s and 6s plus will fit the existing models mm-hmm. how how about um all right I, I'm, yeah well let's do that first how about uh, the iPad Mini? The new iPad Mini, it does not fit. We're waiting for new mold. Right. Uh, I, iPad, the iPad Airs are okay? iPad Airs, uh, we had to open up the, the lens area a little bit. There's a small workflow uh, to, to kind of zoom in a tiny bit to get rid of some fringing on the sides, but it works fine. It fits great. Uh, we try to – it's really important to try and make the existing molds work because every time – we're talking about eight weeks. We're talking thirty-five thousand dollars, you know, um, and it just—it's a nightmare. We were lucky. The first uh, mini, we had three generations of it before we had any this new uh, model that was significantly changed. Um, and so, and then mini's been our biggest seller by far um, since inception. Um, then we also have the full-size iPad with the the original iPads. A lot of people still like to keep their old iPads, uh, especially a lot of schools have them and whatnot. So we uh, make the case for that as well. And then the, both the Airs, like you just said, um, the iPad, and then the phones uh, are starting to really sell now because of the 4K capabilities. People are just seeing. I was at uh, lunch in Minnesota, and this, these bees were like in front of us at, at our table. They kept coming to this flower pot, and I just pulled out the phone and shot this footage, and I couldn't believe the clarity of it. You know. Now, that being said, you better get a 128-gig iPhone or I, because that – Fills up like that, yeah, you know, and that's why I got 128 gig iPhone. Exactly. Yeah, I've I've had the same experience. The very first video I shot with with this was just I, I, when I put it up on the big screen. It's like, oh, oh my gosh, I can't yeah. believe it. Yeah. So. So now I'm actually I'm doing some tutorials on workflows into Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro after that, and to really because you do not want to edit it on iMovie on the phone. It's not going to give you that 4K, you know. So it's fine. There's, there's some great workflows, but I think people will like it. Today's edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of world-class software. I love Text Expander from Smile. Why? Because it has three characteristics of great software. It lets me do more, do it faster, and helps prevent errors I might otherwise make. Text Expander lets you create short, simple pieces of text, or snippets in Text Expander speak, that trigger the insertion of larger chunks of text into pretty much any document or piece of software. Those snippets might be something as simple as today's date, or as large as a multi-page piece of boilerplate to go in a contract, or something as complex as a chunk of HTML code for your website. So for me, by typing MVSIG, I get my full email signature, complete with links, inserted into an email, or MVST, and I get the pieces of information you see at the bottom of each Mac Voices show page. So how it makes things easier and faster is sort of obvious. I can do more because I have less to do. But how does it help me from making mistakes? Two ways. First, if I were having to type in all that code every time, there's a fair chance I might leave out this bracket or that, and then things don't work. And then I have to go back and try to find out what's missing and fix it. That wastes time. By using my snippet, it's right the first time, every time. The second way is by loading in the Tidbits Autocorrect Dictionary, a collection of commonly mistyped or miscapitalized words created by the Tidbits crew. Since Text Expander is constantly monitoring your typing for snippet use, it's also checking against that library and sees when you make a mistake. Poof, it fixes it. Almost too fast for you to see. And if that's not enough, if you know of a common mistake that you make regularly, you can set up your own snippet to fix it in about as much time as it would take you to fix one error in the first place. After that, your error gets fixed the same way, fast, simple, so you can keep on moving to get more done. Did I mention that you can sync your snippets across all your Macs running Dropbox so that the snippet you create today at the office will be waiting for you to use on your home Mac tonight? And with Text Expander Touch 3 for iOS 8, you can even use your Text Expander snippets on your iPhone or iPad. You can get a free demo version of Text Expander right now at smilesoftware.com. About 10 seconds after installing your first snippet, you're going to understand how this works, how powerful it is, and what it can do for you. And if you really want to tap into the full power and more sophisticated features of Text Expander, check out Take Control of Text Expander by Michael E. Cohen. Smile and Tidbits work together on this terrific Take Control book to make sure you can get the most out of my favorite productivity utility. That's Text Expander from Smile at smilesoftware.com. 
Get it and find out just how much you can get done. Smile, the makers of world-class software. Thanks to Smile for being the longest-running sponsor of Mac Voices. All right, I, I got to ask. Yeah. When it comes, iPad Pro? Uh, not sure yet. Uh, I am excited to get one as my desktop replacement um, and an editing tool and just to do creative things. Um, it, it's so, uh, in my, I haven't seen it yet, but I think it's going to be so gigantic that it's going to be like this. <laughs> um, so unless we come up with, I mean, and I do have my designer working on some ideas. Um, I threw some money into R and D for that just to get some ideas and, and on how maybe it's replaceable handles that flip out or I don't know. We're, we're working on a bunch of ideas, um, for it. I think it's a, uh, it's a great place to go and edit and whatnot. Um, I just don't know, and, and, and honestly, when we met with Best Buy, they were they were really honing in more on the uh, on the phones. Um, they see the potential there as as we've gotten to this model. Um, so we'll see. I mean, if the demand's there, I mean, we definitely would do it. Uh, I, I just don't know yet. I, I would. I need to hold it in my hands. I'm dying to get one. So uh, I, I think we're all in that boat. I think we're, yeah. we're all trying to figure out what this device is going to be good for. A lot of us have ideas. But you're right, it may be very much too big, or it may not. It may A cinematographer may just love the idea that they can get that big screen right in front of them to work with. So That's yeah. the thing. I mean, uh, uh, you know, maybe that's your monitor. Um, and you're Steven Spielberg, once again, that's your monitor. It's all coming into different, uh, uh, from different cameras, and you're seeing your views right there. Uh, or you're going out framing shots, or you're doing pre-visualization, or, you know, you want to have different lenses so you can test it. So... There's absolutely a possibility for it, and, and uh, the minute we get it, I'm going to just, you know, I'm taking it to Hawaii to goof around with it, and we'll see what it's like. So yeah. I'm excited about that. That's great. So we have the the uh, the new iographer for GoPro. What's it called? Well, because uh, I've lost all my ingenious uh, ideas, I just called it the iographer Go, because yeah. you pick it up and go. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. So we have the iographer code that's on Kickstarter right now. Um, and then all the other iographers are available for iPhones, iPads, iPad Airs, and everything. Just yep. go to, to – uh, what's, what's the best website? Well, you, well you, uh, we love it if people go to, to Best Buy. They get a deal. They get two lenses, wide angle um, and telephoto lens plus our case uh, for $99. Um, so you're basically saving like $40. Uh, you get both your lenses. Um, that's for the iPad Air and iPad Mini, the, the, the one, two, three generations. And then uh, the iPhone 6 is on, uh, 6 Plus, I should say, uh, and soon the 6 is on uh, BestBuy.com as well. So you can order it there, pick it up in-store around the country, whatever. Uh, if that's not good enough for you, come to the website, iographer.com, and everything is there. Uh, we've got bundles. We've got, you know, you name it. Yeah, we can get you up and running tomorrow. So uh, it's all there. I'm glad you brought up the, some of the bundles and the packages. That's another thing that you've you've really leveraged here for your benefit and for ours. That you you do have recommended lenses and you do have recommended accessories that go with this. So that you're right. You can you, if I decide I want to become an iographer or video producer tomorrow, global journalist or whatever you I, want. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't have to piece a package together. You've got it all right there. I just did a uh, I. I I get asked all the time, what should I, what lens should I use? So I said, let me just throw it all out there for you. This is the, I, the, the filmmaking package. This is the journalistic package. We just did a, I just did a big seminar for the uh, law enforcement um, agencies in California. Um, and they basically uh, are trying to get more active on social media. Of course, there's all the negative social media, so they want to bring their own positive stories. And so they wanted something just easy to do. So we have a, a uh, so the iPhone cases are what they wanted. And then, uh, so we have like a Pelican type case. It's actually a Nook case that we have our own model. Uh, it's all die cut. Um, and inside of it is the, for, for this example, is um, the case. Um, and then you've got your lenses. Uh, you've got a microphone there. Um, and then uh, there's a, a mount that we sell that suction cups to the car. So they wanted to be able to suction cup it to their window and the side window. Have, no brainer. Put it up. Press go. They're right there in front of people talking, blah blah blah. And in case anything happens, they can just throw it back into the into the case, button it up, and throw it all in the trunk and take off. So, um, so we're getting ready to put that whole bundle up on the website. Um, and 
Another person, uh, the BBC, wanted some bundles uh, for, for journalism with handheld microphones. So we're putting all that up on there. And they've been a big hit for us on the website. You know, you get a 15% discount off the whole thing to buy the, all the stuff. So um, it's been a great uh, a business for us. So we're excited. It's great. So, folks, if you have any interest in video video production or even just still still photography with this, this is also good for that. Um, definitely check out the Kickstarter if you're a GoPro post person. If not, go and find at Best Buy or iographer.com. Uh, you, you can you can just do what I'm I'm keep trying to piece things together. And Dave's, <laughs> I just got to go to the website and look. Dave's already got it for me. I just haven't gotten it yet. So. And I, I would invite everybody on Wednesdays at uh, 11.30 P, uh, PST AM. I do the Ask Dave show, hashtag Ask Dave show. And uh, we spend about 30 to 45 minutes talking about different subjects, audio, whatever. And you can ask me questions. Um, and we do giveaways um, that are fun. So, you know, I might come up with a question. you got first person that emails me the answer, wins the thing on the show. And it's a lot of fun. We have a good time. So. Got about 300 viewers, and we're building, so I'm excited. <laughs> and I'll make sure I have a link to that in the show notes right. so that Thank folks you. can go there and just jump right over to you. So, Dave, Very it's good to see you. I, 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 congratulations on, on the Iographer Go. Congratulations on everything. And, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if we don't see you at the Academy Awards next year. I'll be uh, cleaning the aisles. Yeah. Uh, for the, for the thing. So, but. Uh, Thank you. I'm so humbled. You always uh, take good care of me, and, and I appreciate that. And I can't wait to get a go in your hands because I know it's going to be – I'm going to call it the Chuck Joyner move, so by turning everything around. <laughs> so now I love that. I didn't think about that, so you, you made me – I'm going to be smarter now because of that. Great. <laughs> good, good to see you, Dave. <laughs> good to see you too, boss. Take, take care. care. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on the iographer Go. I think it's going to be my shooting rig coming up for CES and NAB. I will let you know. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.